I am John Harvey Lopez. I am Christine Faith Adlas. I am Kiara Michelle Vlahov. We are third year students from the University of the Philippines, Visayas. We are on a mission to learn about the intangible cultural heritage of one of the Philippines' indigenous peoples. In one of the mountainous regions of Visayas, in the central Panay area, there lives a group of indigenous people called the Panay Bukidnon. The Panay Bukidnon are divided into four groups. Panayanon, Halwudnon, Akyanon, and Irainon. Culturally, these groups are rather similar. Anthropologists and culture professionals have published books and other materials about the Panay Bukidnon, but none or very few young people have had close encounters with this now famous indigenous people. The Panay Bukidnon are known for their chants or epics, dances, rituals, and embroidery. Their traditional stories or epics, called Sugidanon, are chanted. Sugidanon literally means stories. These stories are based on the family and social life of the Panay Bukidnon. They also reveal their livelihood and political structure. The Binanog, a mimetic dance inspired by the hawk or manok bird, is the traditional dance of the Panay Bukidnon. The Binanog is a courtship and social dance. The Panay Bukidnon are also known for their unique embroidery, which is called Panubok. The term Panubok comes from the root word Tubok, which means to embroider or to sew. The embroiderers are called Manuk Tubok. While many tribes and indigenous peoples in the Philippines have weaving traditions, Embroidery traditions are rather rare. This makes Panobok embroidery particularly interesting. Panobok tradition is embedded in the culture of the Panay Bukidnon. The detailed descriptions of the characters in the stories of the Sukidanon include the richly embroidered clothes they wear. And the Panay Bukidnon wear their traditional clothes when they dance the Binanog. So no sa kasaysayan ka mga malam sang una nga ang mga binukot wa ay ginapaubra dayan lang di asa balay gina parigo gina sag uban lang ganid da kag parigoson dayan ti ikaron nagbasi o kun nagisip tong binukot nga magaubra tanaka anang na manan lang hay total indi mamakaubra sa uma nag ang ubra na panebek sige panebek mga sinumrahan mga malam sang una Inang magapungko sila sa ano, sa perta. Haiti wai man ikaw id kantuan, wai kamatlan tawon. In the Philippines, men have always worked in the farm, while women stay at home to do household chores. In the case of the Panay Bukidnon, women are the culture bearers. They stay at home and embroider, practice dancing the binanog, and memorize the chanted stories. The primary bearer of the culture of the Panay Bukidnon is the binukot. 
binukot comes from the root word bukot, which means kept. A binukot is akin to a princess for the Panay Bukid Non. A binukot is kept away from men until marriage. The only things a binukot is allowed to do are to learn the Sugidanon, their chanted stories, practice the Binanog dance, and master Panubong embroidery. Hindi kay Bayeg nag-idea kung ano ang himuon party sa mga bayo. Dason, ang lalaki, kung residido siya, nag-ano man eh. One can say that the art and culture of the Panay Bukidnon are descended from women. Amo di awa ay ginahimo, gida akong di amo di aamang kinaiya, in opinion, kinaugali, o surundon. Pero pag-abot sa timpo gira sa katsila, to yaka to magpamuno ang pagpabaya ka mga tradisyon pa. Asta sa pag-abot sa gira sa timpo huk balahap. Daw ginakasigahan, makilala ka nga ikaw isa ka katumandak nga bukid nun nga wa ikak intindi. Pwede ikaw makausahan, kagimuhimuan ka sala. Malain ka. Pagi sa pagpanobok, may mabulig man, hay ang iban man nagakinanglan. May dayan man nga, ang mabulig makabulig man sa mga pagkabuhi, nga mabakal ka isa. Nga masundan ka isa. Mag-aminaklahan ay mamumunabaklon ko itong saipang mo, Abi. Pero baligya mo ka ito. Butang balon, makabulig sa pangabuhi sa mga material nga butang. Uh, Kaya mo nang halin sa sangunang gusto. Halin sa mga, mga tigulang balagin namon sa sanguna. Ang sa nila nga gamitun nga bayo, kula. Mm, kay nagalakat sila sa dalan. Pagka abot nila sa tuwa kadala, nakita siya dayon. Nakita sila dayon kay Pula. Mm. Uh, okay. Kumuna, the practice of panubok embroidery nearly became extinct as people adapted the Western way of clothing. Anthropologist Dr. Alice Magos, who was instrumental in making the government recognize the Panay Bukid Nun as a distinct indigenous people, helped to revive it. Even through this revival effort, we see that women play a major role in intangible heritage. The women-born culture was revived by a woman. Nowadays, panubok embroidery is done on commercially available textiles, but the manuktubuk used to embroider on see-through abaca cloth. There are no existing samples of an abaca cloth saipang with panubok, but the designs inspired by the surroundings of the panay bukit nun have remained. Malantaw sa nato nga nagalupad ang pispis. Ginairag na na ang korte kamata. Uh, Dason ang iba naman, na uh, gagmay-gagmay nga kuan halin naman sa kimbis sang manug. Huwag man ginadrawingan. Aura ka magadrawing. Huwag gadrawing. Pang-otok lang. Panubok designs are inspired by the Panay Bukid Nun's environment and daily life. Sikag-sikag replicates fish bones. Togi Togi or Girigit, a zigzag in their language, is inspired by mountain ranges. Matampunai copies the eye of the Punai, the native pigeon, and Sudlikama, the scales of the python. Pako Pako is from fiddlehead fern, Binunghai from bamboo strips, and Labog flower stems from the traditional souring plant used in indigenous cuisines. Some panubok designs are also inspired by their chants, or sugidanon. A traditional binanog dance is not complete without the panay bukidnon wearing their embroidered saipang, sinumbrang pula, red blouse for women, and sinumbrang itom or supa, long sleeve shirt for men. In the courtship dance, a handkerchief called a panyo with different panubok designs is used. Panubok is found in every traditional practice of the Panay Bukid Nun. Ang tawag ang 
bang bang nagbuta ang ala ka alin ba signal na ang bang bang ay kung ano kung magkasaut ka odo ang bang bang ang mga mga katangan dyan ang mga signal na kung may ang bang bang kung tanawon nga sa daylo la ko ang mga mga kinahanglan kaya damo to ko sa mga bayo pa pa mga lunch libre pa pa mga laki para buta ang ala ka diyan ang mga signal the new generations of Panay Bukidnon take pride in their culture. The School of Living Tradition, Balay Turun An, was founded for the young Panay Bukidnon to learn their traditional practices. They are taught how to chant, dance, and embroider. Ten? Ten. Pila ka nakatuig sa bong? Fourteen. Four years na. Damo, ka namin yung balaan nga, disenyo. Gamay pa. Mga pila. Apat. Ano itong mga mga disenyo? Garigite, dangkwan, sikag-sikag, matang, matang punay, kagdang, binalagon. Nga, gusto mo mag... Para nga dang matudlo ko man sa iba kung dang maghanggod ako. Gusto mo pag tigulang mo man, ipasa mo man sa mga ano mga bata mo? Hod. Nabadlayan ka man or what? Kadang una nabadlayan eh, pa'y kadang gapamati makmimapos ka lang. Mga every, every san o ka mo ga learn, every sabado, kada sabado, kilog ng adlaw. Hod. Hindi ka mo ga learn. With a school of living tradition that teaches the Panay Bukidnon youth their traditional culture, Onobok manages to survive in this day and age. Ginhambalan sila nga ang ining panobok hindi yun di pagkalipatan tob tob sa sanao himo onyo gen ng handuman nyo sa kakategulangan ninyong ginhalinan kung wala na kami kung di may handuman man kamo ng amo jagin bilin naman sa inyo. The Panay Bukidnon have a very rich culture as embodied in their Panubok embroidery. Despite globalization, the rich legacy that has been handed down from generation to generation will hopefully not be forgotten. I have no roots in the island, but my family considers Visayas and Panay our second home. Experiencing the roots of Panay Bukidnon is like discovering the culture of our family in a place we have come to love. My connection with Panay is rather remote, but because my parents are also Visayans, I am beginning to develop a keen interest in the culture which my ancestors from Negros might have mixed with long ago. This effort to understand the Panay Bukidnon through their Panabuk embroidery is my way of trying to appreciate the culture of one of the peoples in my island. Living in this age, one can easily get lost in the barrage of foreign culture that is flooding our country. Learning about Panabuk embroidery in Panay Bukidnon it's like a guidepost in the midst of chaos.